One thing that's always puzzled me about all this is the lockdown across the world. Why have they all implemented it? That was the only thing that kept me coming back to the fact there must be something in it. This virus must be really bad. The virus is bad. Hospitals are busy. There's no two ways about it. People are sick. People are ill. and Some are dying. But the figures, the figures don't stack up. But when you find out that lockdown has been implemented across the world, the advice for that measure has been given to countries, to governments in different countries, by the Tony Blair Institute, that makes my blood run cold. Tony Blair, the poster boy of the EU, the only person from Britain to be given the Charmian Prize for working towards the federalisation of the European project. And the European project is socialist. And he's advising governments across the world to lock down. And then you speak to a leading Brexiteer MP who didn't have a clue about that. He didn't have a clue that Tony Blair's foundation institute was advising people how serious is that and then you've got president trudeau making that video telling everybody that canada is working towards agenda 21 agenda 30 so what was a theory that i dismissed as basically not having any teeth because it didn't have any teeth it had nowhere to go it was just a load of people from the un Traipsing about on junkets, having a good time, talking about how to make sustainable living by cutting short our uh, longevity, you know, cut off date 75 and redistribution of wealth, the end of capitalism. But everything is pointing down that road, sadly. And now we've got Boris, who seems to be our woke prime minister, who goes to bed at night with one theory and wakes up in the morning with another one. Is that pillar talk politics? And Tony Blair in the background, beavering away. He's never took his place in the House of Lords. If he took his place in the House of Lords, he'd have to either relinquish all the fingers he's got in these pies or he'd have to come clean about them. And we wouldn't really like that, would we? Tony Blair, still a very powerful character. And Gordon Brown, him and Gordon Brown, there's an article about them saying that we need a one-world government. A one-world government. How bloody ludicrous is that? That'll never work. You can't even get things working with a council. So Tony, Tony Blair still... Why doesn't he just sod off? Sod off, Tony Blair. What are you doing advising governments? We've rejected you once in one country. Isn't that a sign on the wall that we don't want you? I am seriously worried about the way things are going. And the only thing I can do is put it out there because what was not a threat is now a threat. And the change has been... The Republican presidency seems to be ending and a socialist one coming in that will put the EU before Britain and definitely before Brexit. And Brexit is threatened, totally threatened, because deadlines have been missed and what we need is our sovereignty to stay out of whatever these crazy people want to do with the world, whatever their agenda is. It wasn't a threat, but it is now and people need to wake up with to it. And if a blogger like me is prepared to come out and say so, you need to be worried because I have denounced this threat for the last two years because it had no teeth. Now it has and it's ready to bite.